Okay, done. So the rest of you are entrepreneurs somehow involved with PFRC, right? May I know the number of doctors in this room, please? Thank you so much. Yeah. Just, just trying to see the group, the entire slides put in there. I'm not a researcher, I'm a practicing dietitian. So uh, besides sports nutrition, so how many of you watched IPL? IPL finals, Pathingla? Did you watch? Cricket la Pakra Dilea? Pakringla? Okay. So finals lay up on a CSK and Gurja Titans. So Enga team la on the Lana Yak support Pandadana Mandi Orch to know because Gurja Titans la we have two clients, Vijay Shankar and Sai Sudarshan. You know Sai Sudarshan? How many how many runs did he score that day? Ninety-six. Yeah, but somehow, of course, in the Bagum Badina, Deepak Chahar was our client. So you are like, yeah, support for the Yostra. No, of course, Chennai won, very happy. But then this is the kind of work that we do in the clinic. I have a team of dietitians in Alvar Pet Chennai. And uh, in our Bagum Badina, a lot of metabolic disorders and all that. So most often what we get to see in our clients is wait a correct one. Are you comfortable? Is there anyone who doesn't understand Tamil? I'll do English and Tamil together. Is that okay? Yes. Cool. Okay, so wait to correct on Varwanga. Then what will happen is, you know, um, the regular, you know, the regular diet which goes, right? Kale Lendona, lemon juice, water, and then you have a bowl of fruits, and then you have sundal, and then you have idli dosa with Pudna Kotamali chutney, and then nothing works. And that's when you realize there's something called insulin resistance. That's been on the rice. Have you heard about it? Yeah? So it's just that yen nada exercise for now. See, I've worked in gyms. I've worked for 12 years in various fitness centers. Because now hospital look on the young clients on the Varamatanga. All the athletes will come only to the fitness centers. And then later I worked in a medical college. Have you heard of Ramchandra Medical College? Yes, sir. Yeah. S R I H E R. That's how it's been renamed. So I was in the sports medicine department working for Dr. Armuga. Uh, so, as the chief dietitian there. So uh, I've seen as an academician as well as as a practicing dietitian in a gym. Every exercise, panalo, every calories track, panalo, result e varad. That's when we were wondering, there's something more. And college le padi kimo insulin resistance or PCOS was not in the syllabus at all. And that's when we realized there's a new age problem, and that's what it, uh, that is the insulin resistance. And you should be more worried about carbohydrate than protein. So this is the crux of the presentation. Okay. So the main thing is we are all very scared. We eat our idli dosa in large numbers, but then we forget how important protein is and that's what I want to highlight today. Okay, so I'll just go. So um, I'm pretty active on Instagram. Uh, I don't know how many of you follow me, but there are a lot of questions that get answered there. For all the students, I'm just letting you know well ahead of time. Okay, so we all know protein is very, very crucial. From the first two presentations, we have realized that. So I'm going to quickly skip the slide. And, and we also know that for the, di di you know, the digestive enzymes, whether it's hormone, whether it's building muscle or it's repair, for all of that, we need protein and we just can't afford to miss this. This is the most important factor. 73% of the urban rich are protein deficient. So cities, villages, so what is it that we eat regularly? Kalailo or satma va kanji kuri poong, illa idli dosa yasa apadu poong, illa pongal, apuri, kerang, this is what we have. And then lunch will be sadam, poriyal, kootu. Adala vandhu or three, four days will be urla kadunga, chena kadunga, chepam kadunga, one carrot, beetroot will be there. Correct? This is what we eat. And then of course, uh, evening paathing na one tea or kuda biscuit rukho, or else some sundal will be there. And of course, dinner will be idli dosa, or else rasam sadam, or else say chapati with kanga, or else one takali toku. Correct? Is that not the weekly? So, what happens is don't ever think that, oh, this is great diet. Not at all. And sundal, you know, a lot of people will say, in fact, my brother used to tease me, a sundal dietitian. Allah can be sundal kudu kare, never have dinner. And sundal is not a great source of protein at all. Of course, there is healthy carbohydrate, but there's 40% carbs sitting there. And if a person is insulin resistant, it will backfire. Result varad. And then most often, people don't even realize that they have insulin resistance. You know, the best way to find out will be, regular exercise for and toppe korela abdina, immediately, no. Okay, looks like there is an issue there. How much ever the exercise, if the waist size doesn't decrease, number one. 
Next is also a lot of pigmentation around the forehead, okay, and the chin area, and then of course around the neck. Okay, uh, they'll say ladies are getting na thali powder again, so all na lada veil na rey pore, all na lenge karter chadala sollo anga. It's not that, but also skin tags. Adu me ande it's a big issue. And the reason skin color abey dalai te bodo dark eye te bodo na definitely you should be aware that there is an underlying issue called insulin resistance. And unless you step up the protein and include the good fats in your diet and reduce the carbohydrate, you won't be able to see any weight loss happening. and this is the root cause for your high cholesterol issues and then also your blood pressure and then increasing weight cholesterol being high everything your inflammatory markers ellame kududala irukum and pcos la arambichu it will go to gestational diabetes and then it goes to type 2 dm so this is how it will go so unless a person understands what needs to be done this can just go ahead and create a huge issue and then the uh, the burden the financial burden is going to be quite high okay so uh, this is something that we really need to be alarmed about and ignoring protein can give you a whole bunch of these issues metabolic syndrome you just name it it's there for a lot of people in fact in the clinic there's a 7 year old with very high insulin levels it's really scary to see children especially post pandemic having very high insulin uh, values and they become so sedentary and they don't look their age or 10 years kuzhandha paathinga na or 15 20 years mari irukku i don't know how many kids you have observed they've just gained like 10 20 kgs during the pandemic haven't you seen some of your nephews nieces cousins the corona thing all the green all of a sudden and it's just that they've been sitting at home cooped up and they haven't been exposed to sunlight no exercise and gadget addiction which means they're also not sleeping properly so off late la vandu clinic ku varumbodhe vandu phone vaangirudhu client kitta pesumbodhe avi ஒரு கதையை சொல்லி போனை வாங்கிட்டு வி லாஸ்ட் கேன் ஐ சி த டைம் ஸ்பென்ட் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு யூடியூப் அண்ட் தென் இன்ஸ்டாகிராமில் தான் பார்த்தோம்னா இட்ஸ் ஸோ ஸ்கேரி யூ நோ த ஆவரேஜ் டைம் ஸ்பென்ட் த ஹையஸ்ட் தட் ஐவ் சீன் இஸ் அரவுண்ட் சிக்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹாஃப் ஹவர்ஸ் தூங்குற டைம் என்ன தெரியுமா த்ரீ ஏஎம் திஸ் இஸ் அ ஸ்கூல் கோயிங் ஜாக்ட் அண்ட் ஐ யூன் மேட் லைக் அ நைன்டீன் இயர் ஓல்ட் லாயர் அண்ட் அந்த கேர்ள் வந்து வெயிட் குறையில் வெயிட் குறையில் ஷி கெப்டன் சொல்லிங்க தென் எனக்கே டவுட் வந்துருச்சு நான் ஒழுங்காக தான் டயட் கொடுத்தேனா இல்லையா வாட்ஸ் ஆப்னிங் அப்படின்ட்டு அதுக்கப்புறம் நீ ஃபோனு கூட நீ எவ்வளோ நேரம் ஃபோன் பார்க்குறேன்னு பார்ப்போம் அப்படின்னா ஷி வாஸ் அரவுண்ட் ஃபோர் அண்ட் ஹாஃப் ஹவர்ஸ் ஆன் த ஏனோ ஃபோன் அட் நைட் அண்ட் ஷி வாஸ் ஸ்லீப்பிங் அரவுண்ட் டூ தேர்ட்டி ஹவ் வில் ஷி லூஸ் வெயிட் அண்ட் தட்ஸ் த ரூட் காஸ் ஆஃப் ஆல் இஷ்யூஸ் யோர் ஹார்மோன் இஷ்யூஸ் ரியலி கெட் டிஸ்ட்ரப்டட் த மொமெண்ட் யூ டூ நாட் ஸ்லீப் ஆன் டைம் so the basic we'll say even before you want to do any diet first thing is set right your sleep wake cycle and make sure that you sleep at a stipulated time that is go to bed at 10 9:30 10 wake up at around 6 without an alarm you will wake up and then make sure that you're getting some sunlight exposure on your body that's very very important and then focus on getting a wide variety of vegetables and fruits so that your gut health and the bacteria which is sitting inside your intestine needs to be given food அதுக்கு தீனி போட்டால் தான் ஒழுங்காக இருக்கும் ரைட் ஸோ ஹவு டு யூ என்ஷுர் தட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் தட்ஸ் வேர் த ப்ரோபயோட்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல் தட் கம் ஸோ யோர் பழைய சாதம் பட்டம் மில்க் எவ்ரி திங் ஒர்க்ஸ் எனி திங் இண்டிஜினஸ் எஸ் மீனிங் தட்ஸ் வாட் ஐ ரெக்கமெண்ட் அ லாட் அண்ட் த ரிசல்ட்ஸ் ஹேவ் பின் அமேசிங் ஸோ ஜஸ்ட் ஃபோக்கஸ் ஐ திங்க் ரா தன் லுக்கிங் அட் கிரான்பெரி அண்ட் அவகாடோஸ் அண்ட் அ ஹோல் லாட் ஆஃப் இம்போர்ட்டட் ஃபுட்ஸ் விச் ஆர் வெரி எக்ஸ்பென்சிவ் அவுட் ஆஃப் ரீச் த பெஸ்ட் வில் பி டு லுக் அட் வாட்ஸ் அவைலபிள் நியர் ஆர் லொக்கேஷன் வேர் எவர் வி ஆர் லொக்கேட்டட் அண்ட் தென் மேக் யூஸ் ஆஃப் இட் ஓகே Next is of course food cravings. Most often when someone comes for a weight loss, they'll say, Ayyo, Monday to Friday is super and Saturday, Sunday, go. You know, I ordered a black forest cake, I had this, juice, kuduche, milkshake, kuduche, all these things, right? Many times whenever you start on a diet, this is what happens. And Sunday, of course, biryani is up to have been bang. And then again, Monday to Friday, they'll be strict. So this is a vicious cycle that keeps going. The moment you step up protein, I'm sure Bigly is going to agree with this. The moment you step up protein, the sugar cravings really come down drastically you will see an amazing shift happening and most people you know you will see uh, sedentary na 0.8 gram per kg body weight nu vadichirupinga um, and then of course it's come to like 1 gram per kg body weight of protein but trust me not many people match up even that and if you are into exercise it can be around 1.2 to 1.7 and for adolescents around 2 gram per kg body weight of protein இந்த அளவுக்கு எல்லாம் சாப்பிட்றதே இல்லை அண்ட் தட்ஸ் த பிகஸ்ட் ப்ராப்ளம் வி ஹாவ் இன் ஹேண்ட் ஓகே அண்ட் ஆஃப்கோர்ஸ் இன்க்ரீசிங் மஸ்குலர் ஸ்ட்ரென்த் ஸோ மோஸ்ட் ஆஃபன் நம்ம வந்து வெயிட் குறையில் ஆர் இஃப் யூர் ஒன் அ வெயிட் லாஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் வாட் வில் பி டூ வி ஓன்லி செக் அ ஹைட் அண்ட் வெயிட் மெஷர் ப்ராப்ளி த வெயிட் அப்டமின் அண்ட் ஹிப் சைஸ் ரைட் 
get a body composition analysis done. Mudunja DEXA scan pananga twice a year or get a body uh, that is electrical BIA, okay, bioelectrical impedance analysis machine. Of course, you will see the visceral fat, the subcutaneous fat, and also how much of muscle you have. So, the whole thing about weight loss is about ensuring that you retain your muscle or increase your muscle, and as a byproduct, the fat percentage reduces. And ensuring that your subcutaneous fat, skinny killer kra fat, and tope sutir kra fat, when it reduces, then you reduce the risk factors for a lot of health issues. And bone health, of course, is very important. Metabolism and immunity. And these are things for which we definitely need protein. And macros and micros. So there is meal sequence that everyone talks about these days. The only thing is to ensure that the overall meal, the glycemic index should be balanced. So rather than uh, taking just the white rice, it will be great if you can switch to brown rice. Another factor is start your meal with a glass of buttermilk or else lukewarm water. If you have a tumbler, if you room temperature, we will just swallow. If you can have lukewarm water, automatically you will slow down because you can't gulp it down. Next thing will be to eat either a cucumber or else a cup of salad. Then you are forced to chew. The moment you start chewing, then again, you slow down a bit and follow it up with protein. Adhikaparma, go ahead, have your cooked vegetables and all that. Then towards the end is when the starch comes. So by the time you reach rice, the quantity of food itself will reduce drastically. So either than, this is what has been talked about a lot these days. So it's just to ensure that your overall glycemic index is maintained so that we do not have sugar spikes. So every time this fellow insulin is spiked up because when you're eating white rice and white bread sandwiches and sweets and juices, I, I saw some of you drinking juices now. Not at all healthy. <laughs> What's that? Is that a health drink? Uh, okay, label path it up is all right. <laughs> okay, so fruit juices, you know, okay. Um, forget this, pardon me on this. But generally, when the elephant walk, you know, they'll skip one of the two meals, like you know, so dinner, like breakfast and dinner, when they skip one eater, they'll just have a big bowl of watermelon or papaya and all that. And what happens is when somebody has insulin resistance, automatically this will trigger the release of insulin and it'll convert this calorie into fat and it'll pile it up around the waist. This is what happens. So fruits nagya sakta weight korunjurun nadikirdo is wrong especially if someone has these kind of issues okay so metabolic syndrome or if you're looking at pre-diabetes non-alcoholic fatty liver disease uh, the game changer will be to step up protein that's huge okay so a lot of us uh, steamed food it's absolutely healthy why are you saying this but i think the problem is we do not eat adequate fiber rich food and also protein so most often when roots and tubers are eaten, when I say chana karanga, chepangarangu, urla karanga, carrots and beetroots and manjapusni, so Monday to Friday pretty odiru. Then Saturday, Sunday will be that is when one non veg will come. Otherwise, there are people who will say Niki Pradosham, Niki Ama sir, is Apada Mate, Thursday is Apada Mate, Saturday is Apada Mate. Finally, the protein takes a beating. This is what happens. These are practical things that I'm talking. So even if a child like sports le nare karne ko orvanga they'll say, "Mama, pani tarvey matang madam, ninge solonga na vadi la pay sakte kare." Okay, this is what happens at home. So the main thing is even a non-vegetarian Indian doesn't eat adequate protein. That's the truth. This is what we get to see on a daily basis. I think we all need to wake up. Okay, no one's paying me to give this talk, okay? I'm letting you know. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. I'm, I'm just speaking straight from the heart. I'm not being sponsored to promote chicken here. Okay, I also talk a lot about plant protein. Okay, so the main thing is, there are a lot of... See, Netflix popping la laro. There's a documentary called Game Changers. Have you seen it? 2019. See, Pradeep has seen. Uh, please watch it. Uh, partly true partly not true uh, take it with a pinch of salt but then it promotes a lot about plant protein and veganism and all that not everyone can do that but generally main thing is there is a whole group of people who are also transitioning to vegan so everything works it's just that number of goal and then you can take any route uh, on the end some people choose to go the vegetarian route so that's when instead of whey protein we'll give plant protein so that's also in work, so I'm highlighting this. There are a lot of vegetarian options, but trust me, this also comes with 
healthy carbohydrates but if a person is not able to tolerate the amount of overall carbs then even that as i mentioned chundal or else rajma chickpeas all this can also add up to the overall calories and also to the carbohydrate content okay so of course lean protein we all know omega 3 fatty acids how how important it is it's anti inflammatory so fish as well as chicken breast or even mutton in fact when we work with a lot of sports people we'll give them mutton soup oxtail soup beef soup idella na kudupo and it really helps them to give you know a better performance and of course protein prioritization is very important and nutrient timing is also important so before a workout usually na menu sollo or kanji illa na or coffee kudichu ponga then you will be able to uh, exercise better and then post exercise what is it that one should take it's the protein right and that really makes a huge difference bigly is going to be talking more about it and next is every meal should have 20 to 30 grams of protein and every snack should be around 5 to 10 grams if fully we can focus on this you will see amazing results your skin texture hair nails your immunity your waist size all of that will really change drastically and also your lipid levels and everything so protein order quality is important the time at which you take and also the dose that you take will vary according to a person's requirement distribution as well as the daily amount idu vandu or orthoda age and fitness goal adukapra male or female adalla poruthu nariya changes irukum uh, this is one guy whom i follow a lot this is a sports dietitian he is in lobero university asker yukan trip abinte he is a researcher and he is the head of the department there and uh, he is also a triathlete you can follow his page in instagram it's called my sports science and uh, he simplifies everything research puriyada ungalku kuda avaroda and the infographics paathale undu you will you know really get the gist of a research very easily okay so this is one person whom i follow and he also offers a master mind class so that's what i had done during the pandemic so the main thing is about protein quality so we all have heard about essential amino acids non essential amino acids limiting amino acids and how combining certain food stuffs so if you are taking like say a bisibale bath with a thair pachdi or else idli with a thick sambar or else your mor kolmu with parpusli or else a parpurunda kolmu like all this so or amino acid edhil limiting arko inon will compensate so rice with fish curry or else rice with chicken curry or even if you want to eat biryani make sure that you eat more of the pieces that's how you make sure that you still get to enjoy the favorite foods but then ensuring that you are stepping up the protein in that meal okay protein intake and bone i think we have already discussed i'm just going to check so next is bone health is very important as we all age i'm 40 plus and i had a fracture in february and sitting at home for 6 weeks was torture okay so even then therapy on the training adathala aarambichirukku so we all i think menopausal women are prone to fractures i see a lot of people in my age category so make sure that you are stepping up protein and usually menopausal women should be taking anywhere between 1.8 to 2.2 gram per kg of body weight of protein it's that important because on the time like evlo da exercise pannalo you won't see any weight loss and that's a very challenging force uh, phase of life for um, menopausal women Ah, this is body composition report. This is how it looks. There are different companies. There are different reports that you get to see. But basically, what you need to understand is, where you weigh scale, madam, paka denge. If you run clinics, make sure that you look into a complete blood test. Do the anthropometric measurements. Send them for a DEXA scan, or else see if you can afford to buy this and put this in your clinic. Or in the mari, or even use calipers. There, are, based on the budget, you can go ahead and. work on so many things veru number on the weighing scale mattu paakadinga that's what i wanted to emphasize and next is of course leucine so in the world of sports nutrition we've been talking a lot about leucine uh, so the uh, quantity that one needs to take in paathinga 3 grams and usually dairy products la nareve irukku okay and of course as i mentioned 20 to 25 grams of protein is very very important in order to see some muscle protein synthesis so this along with resistance training because namala exercise pandrona enna walking weight vande mudinj the exercise weight training enga pochu kaathla da mochu right so you need to focus on doing some exercise so that you stimulate your muscle and that helps in increasing the muscle mass the more muscle you have it's going to give you a lot of you know functional fitness in order to use the indian toilet airport leo lengel ku parunga there will be one toilet which no one wants to use that is the indian toilet squat pandradhukke romba kashtam so everyone has been using western toilet so functionality is something that is gone for a complete toss so sitting for long hours with the phone sitting in the car 
and uh, taking elevator and not climbing the stairs all of this so functional fitness i leave to you know uh, bigly to handle it but main thing is we all need muscle and what is it that it requires protein good fats that is your omega 3 fatty acids and also making sure that we eat a lot of fiber because fiber nala your gut health is going to be good because you might eat a lot of healthy food but if you have a issue with your intestine if it's not getting absorbed you're not getting all the benefits so gut health kaha and the bacteria are healthy avachukaradhukku you will need buttermilk curd fermented food products and also a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables <coughs> this again when there is an injury the first thing that we definitely focus is micronutrients and of course injury healing with protein these are all the plant based proteins i just wanted to check how many vegetarians in this room yaar mai vegetarian illiya okay good to see two three five hands going up okay good so there are all kinds of people no judgments here again okay? uh, there are times i have two cats at home and a dog and then ever since i've been playing with them i'm like ayyo idhe mari ora jeevana dana adichukonu saapra innikku vera chicken tikka saapta nanu bigly sonnanala so there's a lot of guilt that kicks in you know when you have a pet at home so again it's up to you but then make sure that you get your daily dose of protein so vegetarians also have a whole bunch of options that's available plant based proteins are plenty it doesn't taste great trust me you really need all your mental strength to consume plant protein but it's again a habit over a period of time you'll get used to it if you are a pure vegetarian these are again vegan sources you have tofu tempeh miso and a whole bunch of other options for vegetarians so whenever it comes to protein one main thing that i want to share is food intolerance a lot of people have gluten lactose intolerance and they don't realize that which means exercise is great your food is sorted but then you don't realize that you're sensitive to barley or else wheat and these two have gluten and gluten and then milk products la pathina lactose iruke and some of us are lactose intolerant and adu theriyaviye we continue to include it and because of which we don't get the results so how do we find out there could be a lot of flatulence or gas and uh, evlo exercise pannalum toppa koriyama irukirathu psoriasis dermatitis that's another problem brain fog you know you just feel like abdi mandamat you know you just feel so low and down and out that also happens and then of course unexplained anemia unexplained miscarriages all these things these are things that and also over a period of time it can lead to leaky gut syndrome and autoimmune disorders so there are tests to identify whether one has food intolerance or not please be wary if that's the case then we do not recommend whey protein we only give plant protein okay when you are taking supplements but chicken or mutton no issues at all one can take it it's only the wheat and the bread so in the chapati venu chapati saapta da weight going or concept is wrong it doesn't work for everyone there's a condition called non celiac gluten sensitivity this is something that i wanted to communicate nariya pimples la varudhu na idu or try panni paringa adutha oru maasathukku godhumaila senja edhume saapradinga milk products la just keep the curd and buttermilk everything else you please just stop for a month and see what happens okay next is protein should come from various sources not just non veg but also legumes nuts and seeds okay and also food combinations so this is what i wanted to convey today um, thank you for your kind attention can any questions uh, please do ask us during the